what I'm saying right now, this is kind of like an establishing shot. You don't see the details that are closest to you, but you will in another you shot. sure have a nice TC collection. I know I thank you, sir. Thank you. I know I like some of my favorite hot toys. Um, mine, mine too. Some yeah. of my, these are some, probably my top two next to Dark Side Attic. Uh, even with the trash bag cape that he comes with. Yeah, we're going to take a closer look here. Collector. That looks legit to me. Yeah, it looks it looks good. It, it looks good. I, I don't like a lot of the Galaxy's Edge Disney Sabres because the size is completely off. But this one was close enough where I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. What? You won? Yeah, I was actually those. Sweet. That's a nice figure to win. Some of the first like license one license figures, they came in a kit like it didn't come dressed. Like it was the predator body, and like you had the net, you had to put the I net on the body. I heard about that, yeah. Yeah, you had to put the armor on. Like everything was, it was a kit. It wasn't like, you know, all, it didn't come together like it does now. They looked like people thought they were statues when they came in. When even when I had them out, like not in the details, I used to just have them out, and people thought, oh, it's a statue. I was like, no, it's it's an action figure. Uh, it's just quarter scale, and it's it's amazing. Thing. Talking about this guy? Yeah, that's all hand painted, so that's oh, not a decal. Um, that's freehand wolf wow. face. Um, yeah, uh, got me a lot of comments online, which is pretty cool. I, I really yeah, this, this was a great process. The detail is mind yes. blowing. So all built, uh, painted from scratch. So cool stuff. Great I, expanding the lore. I remember that scene very well. So yeah, it's just I love that design. That freaky the mm -hmm. black eyes and this is getting into marvel yeah so, so we're is... going to uh, do some marvelness here i love those lightsabers yeah i customized the, those myself um is that right yeah i made those myself. Oh, is there anything you can't do <laughs> there's plenty uh there's plenty i can't do <laughs> thank you though I mean, this there's, guy. there's no denying that looks fantastic thank you sir thank you i was i was going for the Kind of like a sith holocron triangular shape without taking up too much space so i went for that triangle shape you know and then i did the ccfl uh sabers and it's pretty cool glad i got this because sometimes that dark gun metal looks, looks cool yeah. yeah and probably the only grogu you'll, you'll see yeah freaking great uh <laughs> oh love, yeah i know i've them. seen this figure at uh three sapiens here in fantastic don't have them yet but very tempted still yeah these two pieces have been very tempted the uh, custom base yeah custom base uh i try to make it look like the beach shore because sure mm -hmm. trooper so he's a uh, recent piece by yep. that uh, another one that i'm very tempted Hey there, welcome to Jimmy Toys. Here we are once again, fellow collectors, fellow collections. And today we have another very special guest. He is an artist, but he is a collector. So if you're not familiar with him, uh, he does make very good, uh, excellent custom work, especially when it comes to dioramas and bases for one six scale figures. So let's say hello to Desi from Metamorphic Customs. Hey, Desi. Hey, everyone. Hey, Sergio. How are you doing? Good. Good. How awesome. are you doing? Awesome. Awesome. Good. Um, good to be here. Uh, thank you so much. And you know, one thing you never think somebody's actually interested in seeing your collection, but I guess they are. Oh, I'm so <laughs> glad I asked you. Yeah. 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 So I was mentioning, um, Desi, you are in uh, Miami? I am. Florida? I'm in Miami, yeah. Florida. Uh, yeah. Born and raised. I always, I always like to ask uh, first on the interviews, where are you located? Because meeting all these collectors around the world is really interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's it's definitely there's a big collectors base here, if you will. Is big, that is that know. right? I think so. I think you. Yeah, I start to see more and more people on Facebook that and and more f YouTube channels that seem to be based out of South Florida, and it's not necessarily hot toys related, but just toy related. So that's, yeah. that's great. Yeah. yeah. So um, were you born and raised in uh, yep. Miami? Yeah, born and raised um, Cuban parents. Right. Mm -hmm. So so that kind of uh, that kind of background. But yeah, born and raised here uh, my whole life. Still live here. It's a great place. Yeah. Travel the world many, uh, many times. Uh, not everywhere, but where is it? Where is it you've been? Oh, geez. Uh, around the world, probably <laughs> so all over the U.S. 
uh, not all the states or anything, but a, a lot sure. of states within the U.S. and, of course, uh, Europe, Italy, Spain, uh, many times, uh, Croatia, Wow. Uh, and many times uh, due to work uh, in Hong Kong and in China, that's probably the place I've been to the most in the last decade or so. So, yeah, I've been many places. Yeah, not to Japan, making... though. Yeah, not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Right. You yeah. let me know when you do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And you were telling me before uh, offline that uh, you've been to Hong Kong. You're telling me some interesting stories yeah. about your, uh, you know, uh, Tell, tell us a little bit about that. You were mentioning before about seeing the different shops and your, your visit to, um, was it Echo Base, you said? Uh, Secret Base. Secret Base. Secret Base. Okay. Yeah. There's an Echo as well. No, that's yeah, I, I don't know where Echo is. I, yeah, I'm not yeah. sure. But Secret okay. Base is definitely Hong Kong there on, on that bit. I forget. Is it a Sino Center? But anyways, um, off Nathan Road there in Hong Kong, I've been very fortunate enough to have an occupation that allows me to travel specifically to southern China. I've been in, in toy facilities and toy factories many, many times. Um, and I've been, we fly into Hong Kong. So I've been to Hong Kong several times, uh, like over 20 times now. Oh, wow. You're yeah. very familiar with Hong Kong then. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I mean, I, I have an octopus card for the MTR, which is a subway there, right? So everybody that goes there multiple times has one of those, right? So yeah. I know my way around, no problem. Yeah. Um, Dude, I got, yeah. I got, I, I, you know, I was telling you, I want to go there pretty bad, and because of what happened in the world, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I haven't been there yet, even though I was planning to go right before it struck. Um, but it would be cool if, uh, when I go there, you happen to be there too. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, if, if, if next time we haven't gone, last time I went was October of 2019. Then 2020 happened, right? Yeah. So, but next time I'm there, I'll definitely let you know. I'll let you know in advance. But um, yeah, it, it's 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 fun going over there. I mean, it's work. Don't get me wrong, but you know, you've got some free time. That's how I've been to Secret Base so many times. Um, and before that, Toy Hunters, which was Hot Toys, I guess, main retail location there. Toy Hunters, and, huh? Yeah, yeah, Toy Hunters, and they're they're all in that uh, what is it, Moncock area? Am I saying that right? Yeah, Moncock area. So it's 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 fun. I bought a couple of Hot Toys there over the years directly. Um, and yeah, it's just it's, it's just so cool going there, and that building where Secret Base is. There's basically like I don't want to say flea market, but there's so many shops, tiny shops, the size of a broom closet. I kid you not, and just one after the other, after the other, floor and floor and floor after of that um, that sell hot toys, Gundams, any mm -hmm. kind of toy, uh, knockoffs, real toys, sure. anything you're looking for is there. I'm sure, there's a lot of those. Knockoffs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Entire district of what they call it, the toy district in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, I'm I'm really looking forward to someday checking all that out. Definitely sounds, sounds pretty awesome. It is sounds pretty awesome. Indeed, it is. All right, let's talk a little about about you as a collector. We're going to go into your collection in a little bit, and I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to that. But first, about yourself as a collector, what's the first thing you remember collecting? Collecting, so mm -hmm. not to answer a question with a question, but when you say collecting, like in my mind, no, no, no. Between... Please, if you have any doubts about my questions, uh, please ask me in, in specifically what is it I mean. Yeah, yeah, no, for for, for sure. And then, like, when somebody says, "Hey, when did you start collecting anything?" Right, especially anything. with toys, anything, I, I... Yeah, as far back as you can remember. But yeah, you, I want to, I want to kind of keep it in the toy realm. Yeah, in the toy realm. So, yeah. I, I would say in in the in the top of my head, because there's obviously I've been collecting toys. Since I was a kid, since my parents bought toys for you, right? You're talking three, four, or five years old, you know, as yeah, far back yeah, as yeah, I can yeah. remember. Sure, but sure. the difference where I make that cut in my head between I had toys to play with them to I had toys because I was collecting them to display them, that was probably like 10 to 12 years old. And what made the biggest difference there is McFarlane toys for me. Oh, um, right. And I, I know a lot of people those. don't like that, but especially now, but that's he made the biggest, that's what made me want to want to get into the toy industry to get into the toy field to get into design his comics his toys the fact that he started a toy company not forget about image comics like he started his own toy company right so that, that, that had was, a big inf influence i, I love the solid snake oh yeah i'm a big metal gear fan i had I those still had, I, I, uh, I had a, i had them all and then metal gear solid 2 with uh the metal gear ray that you had to build getting yep. all the pieces oh i had that uh, the, my favorite was the was the gray fox the cyber ninja guy that was great. Um, so it has, that's what it has you know. Stealth version too. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 
The clear was awesome. it clear? Uh, yeah, so I had clear. most. I had most Your of those. Your articulation is weird, though, isn't it? The articulation is always so and limited. It's just only here to here, and that's especially it. <laughs> that, and that's why a lot of people didn't like him, especially back then. You know, because the articulation was so limited, which speaks a lot to my likes right now, right? But, yeah. but I felt it was like it's cool. It was like a mix between an action figure and a statue. Like it was cool. Like I was more about that's when I started collecting. When I was like, I'm not sitting here going pew pew. I'm sitting. Yeah. I bought them. I like the design. I put them on the shelf and I display them. So that's what I wanted it for. Um, yeah, that's what cool. that's what I first started collecting. I think. So this may kind of lead to the next kind of question. Maybe you've already answered it, but what triggered your passion for figures? That's a hard one. I've always. I like the the design. You know, most people say they collect because of nostalgia, and to a certain of, point, of course, that's always true. But for me, right, right, like most people, like for me, it's like it's design. You know, it's like some people say I love that part of the movie. I'll say I think that movie sucked, but that design's really cool. So I'm getting that hot toy, or I'm getting that figure. It's always been that way for me. Um, so. Yeah, that, that's what I think. And figures is, is so cool. The multi-layered of, of clothing, armored, especially when you're talking hot toys. But even back, even McFarlane area, that detail, um, that's what really attracted me to it. You know, and I've always been into art. So, yeah. Great, great. Yeah. Um, next question is, when you're a kid, you were mentioning about 12 years old, something like that displaying, right? Mm -hmm. You started displaying. But the question is, did you play or display? Before, yeah, that's where I, like 10 to 12, that's where that's where the cutoff came, where I like, you you always buy toys or get toys bought for you before you, you know, before I was 10, right? And then when it was 10 to 12, like you stopped. I figured I'd like organically, you bought the toys, you took it out of the package. I always did that. But then like, you're no longer playing with them. Like I'm putting them on display. You're posing them, they stay there. People come over, it's like, yeah, check it out, you know? Uh, but before that, before I was 10 to 12, then yeah, it's just like any kid, I'm here on the floor making pew pew sounds, right? Playing with my action figures. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. I used to have these full blown conversations with two oh. uh, masters of the universe. My mother would make fun of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's normal. I was like, well, I don't care, but I'm fun. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. yeah. It, that, you know, I, that, I think that really helped, uh, you know, spark the imagination. It does get the, get the imagination going and creating stories and all that. It definitely it's good times. Does. Good times. I, I, I still, I'm still tempted to do it sometimes now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, you know, I still have most of those toys like stored away, like the little kid toys. Yeah, right? me too. Uh, stored away some someplace, so I gotta find them. <laughs> yeah, Masters of the Universe for me and uh, the Ninja Turtles. I still have my full Ninja Turtle set from back in the day. I, I think I, yeah, I think I have Playmates. an almost complete run of those two of Masters of the Universe and Ninja Turtles. Um, I, I just I just picked up a stinkor and guess what? It stinks. Still stinks. Oh yeah, I remember <laughs> that. Unbelievable. I had stinkor. When I, I smelt it, it's like, wow, that's what it was like. It, it's 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 very subtle, but you can still smell this. I I don't know what they put in that thing. I mean, they I think they put it in the into the plastic. Yeah, it was um, there's a certain scent they put into it. I knew the name of it because I, I was I was actually going to look into it to try to add more to make it stink more. Yeah, there's certain things that they can add. This is kind of going too more too much into technical, but there's certain sure, things they sure, can sure. Add, add to make it smell bad and to taste bad. You know, one of the I think uh, one of the things that surprised me and it shouldn't have recently for safety purposes, I think Nintendo uh, one of their latest consoles, I don't know if it was the uh, the one before, probably the Wii U or whatever uh, whatever it's called. I forgot. Um, I remember the Wii U. Yeah, I never but had the, it, but yeah. The one with the small cartridges, right? Like they were so small and it's for kids. So what they did is they injected the plastic with something that would make it taste absolutely horrible or yeah. coated it. So that when little kids got it, it would automatically repel if they put it. So I don't know if, I don't think that's a myth. I think that's that's real, but I could Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought that's interesting because I, I, as soon as I heard that, it brought me back to Stinkor. I was like, oh man, I wonder if they mm -hmm. did something similar for Stinkor back in the I day. I knew the but, name of, of what they use and I just I just forgot right now. But it's one of these, um, I think it's like one of these herbal essences, one of these things that they, it's, yeah. it's not such yeah. an uncommon thing. It's actually, but they, I guess they just inject it into the plastic and it's amazing how long that'll last. Oh, yeah. We're talking, what are we talking about? I mean, 
what 30 years ago <laughs> yeah no over over 30 years yeah um yeah nearly my age so close to 40 so yeah it's been a while yeah and speaking of that did you wreck or fix figures when you're a child we're talking you know below 10 probably wreck i definitely didn't fix it when i was that age but i didn't by wreck i remember chewing on a few of them you know when i was like four or five years old um I forgot the master. What was the master of the universe guy that had? He was he had an elephant head, right? And it was a mechanical elephant head. Squirt the water. It was squirt the water. The I nose. Don't remember his name. His yeah. nose. The trunk was like super soft plastic. So it was like ang, 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 you know. And I was like three or four years old. That was. Sure. Uh, but no, most of them, with the exception of that guy, are <laughs> are probably still intact somewhere, including with all the accessories and whatnot. Um, I didn't really nice. destroy it. But if you have, if you make me pick one, I guess I have to go for destroy, right? Okay. I wasn't fixing anything. Okay. And uh, you were mentioning Ninja Turtles you collected as a kid and yep. Masters of the Universe. Yep. So um, here's a question for you that um, I want to start asking in my interviews. What what do your family and friends think about this hobby? Um, in your social life, people who are not into collecting, um, what is their opinion? What kind of opinions do you get? They are tolerant. <laughs> it's the best is the best way I can describe it. I and it's funny that question. I've had so many different opinions. I think most people are just like whatever. That's what he does. That's cool, you know. Um, yeah. yeah. And and I, I, I you know I try to display it nicely, right? I don't. What's that joke? I, I've going seen on? that. We're, we're, yeah, I've been I've been seeing. We're, and we're gonna we're gonna look as yeah. mentioned. You know, we're gonna look into that here very soon. As you do have a very nice collection and yeah. those Thank diorama you. bases that you make are quite a work of art as i mentioned you're you're an artist thank you sir. artist thank you. first collector second i wouldn't say probably i mean i don't i don't know what comes first but i guess by nature yeah you artist course. first collector of you know course. but <laughs> but yeah i think that my family is, is very tolerant i've had all kinds of people come into this display, display room and it's not a great display room right it's just good you know good enough but i try to keep it organized right to show them like hey there yeah. is some interest very in clean there is you know, it, there's, it's clean. It's not just a mess. So when people come in, they might not like it, but they're like, okay, well, at least he's organized, you know? So, yeah. I've, but I've had all kinds of reactions. You can tell by the face, the body language, for the, 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 oh, this is kind of cool. I don't know anything about But to the, this guy must be nuts. Like, what is this kind of, you know, reaction? Uh, it's interesting. That's for sure. How, how much have you found yourself, like, staring at a figure? What's the longest time you found yourself maybe staring at a figure? In particular, that without blown away. when I'm not customizing, so that's because that's different. Um, sure, sure, just because you're blown away by how this piece looks. Probably is. like ten minutes, which doesn't yeah. sound like a long time, but that is ten, ten minutes is a long time. Just it be is. Like, it, it, it you is. Know? Yeah. You know. So it yeah, and I'm just looking oh, at. I'm, it like, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm guilty too. I'm. I mean, a lot of times I'll just sit and just stare at my collection. And just you know, I don't. I, I used to stare at screens because I was I was a big gamer. Now I just stare at the collection. It doesn't hurt yeah. my eyes as much. <laughs> yeah, I, I always I, I like doing it because and when I'm I'm looking, at it, I'm like, okay, I wonder what plastics they use. If you can touch it, right? Like, oh, okay, that's that type of plastic. And how did they make the mold? And how did they do the paint operations? Like, I'm always curious, you know, so, especially if it's something that you I really like. So yeah, yeah, excellent. So next we have Desi here. We have. Uh, these are uh, choice questions, and you don't have to choose, but if you choose, you know, it's up to you if you want to choose or not. But I'm going to give sure. you a choice, A or B type of thing. Quality or quantity? A C for cop-out. Uh, no, uh, quality. Quality. But the, the reason I say cop-out is because there are some instances where, where quantity, you know, uh, I, I always say, look, try not to display more than two to three figures in a detail shelf. Talking about details, right? Uh, I've done four and pulled it off, but that statement goes out the window if you're talking about stormtroopers, because you could literally put eight, nine, ten stormtroopers perfectly posed, like their rank and file, in one shelf and make a statement with that. Yeah, you know, even if the first two are hot toys and everything behind that is a sixty dollar Bandai plastic kit, that's quantity over quality, but you're making a statement with that display. So, but if you ask me to, if you ask me to choose, I'd say quality. Light side or dark side? Mm. Artistically, dark side. It looks visually more, and that goes for Star Wars, 
Masters of the Universe, Transformers, Ninja Turtles, everything, right? But as far as, whoa, who are your favorite characters? Light side, you know, Han Solo. Yeah, it's just kind of how you ben feel. Kenobi. What pulls yeah. you more. Yeah, yeah Ben Kenobi. More. Yeah. So, again, all cop-out answers. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, no. And that's <laughs> but it's why interesting. I, I, I said thought, it's okay. You know, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, I, yeah. it's totally okay. Hang on. The next question here. Hang on. I... Wow. It's Batman. I never thought I would meet Batman. Well, here I am. Excellent. I, Excellent, just have, a, I have a question for you. Your name well, is Jesse, right? That's correct, but now I feel like I want to ask you so many questions. It's not, you know, not every day you get to talk to Batman. Well, I'm just a bat. I don't know if I'm Batman, but I'm a bat. The bat. Perfect. We'll go yeah. with that. So you're in Miami, right? I am indeed. So where are the other drugs going? I can't tell you that. Uh, and since we're over video, you can't threaten me. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's not the question I wanted to ask you. I wanted to ask you... <laughs> I wanted to ask you, Marvel or DC? Oh, she made me. Oh, that's not easy. I'm going to have to say Marvel. But why? Should I hide? <laughs> you know, I think my collection says otherwise. Uh, but Marvel, because I grew up with Marvel, I, I barely, the only comics I read when I was a kid were Marvel and Batman. So it was like well, yeah, well, Marvel yeah, you, you and Batman. That, okay. Uh, you know, and I'm not just saying that because of present company, but in reality, sure, if you look at my sure. comic book collection, it's yeah, uh, a right. lot of Batman. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you later. All right. <laughs> uh, Did you sorry, know Batman, Batman was just on your channel? Yeah, no, he like, just likes is that, to. Is that a normal thing? Okay. All right. That was kind of cool, though. You should have him on more often. Got, he likes to butt in, and then my earphone gets stuck in my ear and oh, just makes right. a mess out of things. Sorry, <laughs> man. No, no, don't be sorry. It's, it, was, it was a pleasure talking to him. <laughs> All right. Um, you mentioned Batman. If I gave you a choice between Batman and Superman? Batman. All the way. And, and I, I, don't, I don't dislike Superman. I, I like Superman a lot. But You should have told Batman. that to the bat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he should have asked that question. He would have liked it. He would have enjoyed hearing the answer. Yeah. 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 Um, Luke or Darth Vader? It's kind of a light side, light side, dark side question, but you know, nonetheless, I kind of like to see where, where your head's at. I know we all love the, all these characters. I just kind of like, uh, yeah. like to see. I never really liked Luke all that much, but on principle, right? okay. on principle, Luke, uh, on design wise, of course, Vader. Yeah. Iron Man, Captain America, or Spider Man? Captain America. All the way. Uh, mostly growing up, I read Spider Man, but if you had asked me to choose now, Captain America. We all, I all, moral wise, we all strive to be Captain, don't we? Yes. <laughs> you know, I was, I was just recently watching The Boys. Have you seen The Boys? Yeah. Yeah. Great it's, series. It's, it's, uh, Homelander's Captain America with Superman's powers. I mean, it's, yeah. it's pretty, it's pretty genius. <laughs> it's great. It's a corrupt Captain America with Superman's powers. It's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i got, uh, I got in, in, instantly hooked i got instantly hooked and i was hesitant for a while i was like ah, i don't know if i'm gonna get into this oh i sure did no it's that is a great show i love that show it's yeah. a great show mandalorian or boba fett mando mando i always liked again boba fett's design i've always was one of those people who always liked boba fett but i was also it's like come on guys this guy like got wiped in return of the jedi didn't have many lines like why does everybody like him other than design i like the design too but so you. if you ask me to choose mando you know he's a more developed character uh are you much into like uh Ar arnold schwarzenegger's movies like terminator or stallone rambo yeah, uh, all of the above. Mostly Arnold, if I had to pick one of the above. But I like all of their movies. Yeah. Gotcha. So that was yeah. the question, basically: Arnold or Stallone? As you know, back Arnold. in the back in the eighties, that was the yeah. that was the big conflict. Yeah. You know? I love them all, but if I had to pick, definitely. Oh no! We, we, yeah. Again, I can't stress it enough. You know, even in, uh, I like to say that here is uh, we all love all these characters, but it's it's kind of a fun fun yeah. choices. You know, to do, it is. To it fun. is. It's yeah. it's good to hear the answers too. It's pretty cool. Right. Right. Do you like video games? Video I games? do. I don't play much uh, often anymore because I'm so busy with work and with dioramas. Yeah, but yes, yeah, I, I grew here. up playing video games. 
What what is it? Uh, throw some examples out there of some games you like or like so, back back. Then. Yeah, I mean, uh, Jesus, uh, some of my favorites. So um, as growing up as a kid, so starting from the beginning, you know, Super Mario was a classic, right? Then Metroid, yeah. the original Super Metroid. You know, the the Zelda games, uh, Link to the Past, all that, and then getting into like the PlayStation, Metal Gear Solid was my favorite game for a long time. Resident Evil, and then I spent the most time probably Quake One. Uh, when I started oh, PC I gaming, Quake. Yeah. Quake One, I spent a lot of time on that one. That was my... that, that was a lot. That's where the whole online thing yep. really started, right? Yeah, Fighting started playing. Some, yeah, yeah, shooting other people, playing um, online games. That's where I started my FPS, right? When I started playing first right, person F- shooters. Yeah, that's right. That's kind for of me. how it all. Yeah. And I, yeah, the first and, one I remember was Doom. Doom. I yes, remember, like, and I played uh, Doom, right? But uh, and I know yeah. there was options to play online, but I really started playing online with Quake especially since it had a Nine Inch Nails soundtrack, which was my favorite band, still is. Oh, is right? that right? I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you remember the picking up the nail gun ammo, it had the N-I-N symbol for Nine Inch Nails on the nail gun ammo in Quake. Anyways, oh boy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, useless information, but I thought that was cool. No, so sure. um, I was into that game, and from there I went to Half-Life, and I played a lot of Rainbow Six, 1, 2, and 3. Um yeah, and that's you know, and in modern gaming, not too much. I played all the Batman games, you know, Arkham, Arkham City, Asy- Asylum City, and then Arkham Knights. Um, but not not too much. I don't play. Uh, usually, when I get a chance to play now, I try to play some retro games, you know. But that's about it. Right. Yeah, that's that's. I'm I'm still stuck in the '90s when it comes to video games for the most part. I can understand why. So those are some of the funnest games. I, I still go back and play Super Metroid when I can. Yeah. Just so so simple and straightforward. I loved it. Mm-hmm. I still do. Um, okay, so favorite section. This is the favorite section. So favorite Star Wars movie. Episode five. Yeah, it's com- common answer, but yeah. You're talking about, of course, Empire. Yeah, Empire. Empire Strikes Back. Um, probably that and then Rogue One after that in that order. I know Empire. It's my it's my second, but yeah. um, but this is not about me. So who cares? Your first is Return of the Jedi, right? <laughs> I I know. Yeah, yeah you, you, you know, I, you know. I yeah, listened. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Favorite DC movie? Dark Knight. Yeah, Dark Knight. Um, again, a very common answer, but it's common for a reason. So I hey. got to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, sure. this is this is not you necessarily going with the masses. This is just yeah. a personal choice, you know. Yeah, that's I think that's yeah. one of the best. It's just it's a good crime movie, you know, with a comic book, slight comic book skin over it, and you've got the Dark Knight, which so is so realistic. I like. It's just like it's like Batman in real real life, a real situation. Yeah. Like Batman can actually exist and do this stuff. Yeah, as much as much as possible, right? Yeah, that is that's why I enjoy the the Nolan movies. Um, mm-hmm. So much I like all. Oh, of them. Yeah. yeah, Nolan is. Yeah, he, I think he's my favorite director. If if somebody yeah. you know back in the day, of course, is George Lucas, Steven Spielberg. But now, today, first one that comes to mind is definitely Nolan for yeah. me. Yeah, I can I can understand. He's Zach a Snyder. excellent director. Zack Snyder too, of course. But the, uh, I love Snyder. I know a lot of people uh, don't, but I, do. I love the Snyder style. Yeah, so do all I. that 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 slow motion doesn't bother me. <laughs> no, even going back to like um, the Sucker Punch, right? And people are like, "Why do people like this?" It's it's basically like a two hour music video, and I'm like, "That's why I like it because it's a two hour music video, <laughs> and I like the aesthetic, you know." So every yeah. frame is beauty. Yeah, yeah, like it's it's so cool. But I understand, you know, it's like you've it's not for everyone. It's not for everyone. I, and I the darkness, understand. it's very dark. Yeah. It is, but, and that's right up my alley, right? Uh, like me too. Dark, <laughs> dark yet colorful, yet you know, slow mo. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dark and beautiful. Yeah. That's a great combination that he achieves yeah. so well. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Favorite Marvel Marvel movie? Uh, <clears throat> Winter Soldier, for sure. And again, crime espionage movie, lightly skinned with a comic book character over it. It's great. Great actors, you know. So love that movie. Any other favorite movies that come to mind uh, of the non not mentioned of these franchises uh, that you really like? Uh, my favorite movie of all time is Alien. Uh, ah. The first one. Uh, that is my favorite movie uh, because of Ridley Scott's one of my favorite directors. And uh, mm-hmm. 
Giger did a lot, you know, as, as being an artist, he's the guy I've always looked up to as well, you know. Um, so that movie, just the, love, the Lovecraftian essence and the design that goes into that movie of things that are left unsaid, which is rare nowadays in movies. It's uh, it's just, and the acting and everything is it's perfection in my book. Um, so yeah, it's my favorite. Yeah, I saw the Prometheus uh, statue you have. We'll be looking at that yeah. a little bit. Yeah it's, yeah, it's pretty cool stuff you have there. And that's probably my second favorite movie, which I know a lot of people would argue against and say no, that's no, horrible, not me, but, but I'm, not, I'm not hardcore yeah. alien. So yeah, so yeah, I mean. that's um, another great one for many of the same reasons as the first. So gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, any favorite actor actress? Do you like to mention? Actress, I always go when somebody asks me that question. I always go Sigourney Weaver because of Alien, right? But she's also in so many movies that I love: Galaxy Quest, Ghostbusters. You know, growing up mm -hmm. uh, with all those movies, um, she is great. Um, as far as actors, you know, actors like I get asked that question. It's like I'm not I'm not sure what to say. I have yeah, uh, there's I know, so, there's many, so many choices. There's true. so many actors. Um, Very true. Yeah, I don't I don't even know what I mean. Uh, Christian Bale is great, although he's not my favorite Batman. Right. Um, but yeah, I can go on, you know, uh, Heath Ledger and I'm not just saying oh, that cause uh, they weren't Batman movies. Right. But they're just great actors. Um, all yes, together. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to, I think we're going to take a look at your collection, but, uh, be, right before that, um, you don't, you don't have a YouTube channel as of yet, but no. you do have an Instagram uh, showing your great work that you do with uh, dioramas. Do you just want to explain briefly uh, what you do and a little bit, you know? Um, sure. Yeah. Sure. So I'll, um, I don't have a YouTube channel yet. Uh, I'm thinking about it. Maybe it's something I'll do late this year, or early next year. But for the time being, you know, I, I am a metamorphic customs, right? One guy operation here. Uh, and I do custom dioramas for any scale figures, but mainly six scale, right? That's what I've always been doing because that's how I started off doing dioramas for myself, small dioramas. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I've been making small, large, I uh, do commission work. And if the easiest way to find me, you see it on your screen right now, Metamorphic Customs, it's just, just Google that, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll link it up in the description. Oh yeah, below. or just look down below, click on the links. I'm on Instagram and I have a Facebook page. Uh, you can check out my work there, but it is it is just that, right? It is uh, dioramas and settings or what I call base toppers specifically made for some of the more popular hot toys bases that are flat, you know, you could adapt it there. Um, yeah, that's what I do. And uh, it's it's fun. That's I started making those for myself. And then some people showed interest. They're like, hey, can you make that for me? So I was like, sure. And that's how I started Metamorphic Customs. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed uh, by <clears throat> the work and the quality and the detail. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, sir. yeah. yeah. I, I, I really appreciate putting especially when it comes to painting, you know, having that be my background, what I, when I grew up, grew up doing, you know, as far as painting and whatnot. So that, the ability to put in that amount of painting and weathering into a diorama piece to enhance the actual, the main part, the main part is always the toy in this case, right? To enhance that, like that's, I have so much fun doing that. And I think it's, it's, you know, it's nice to be able to do that for it, others it, too. Yeah, it, it's nice when you can do something that you, you when you, you do something you enjoy doing. You know, most yeah. people in this world work jobs that they don't like. So yeah, you know. yeah, exactly. So so to be able to do this on the side, very fortunate. Very yeah, fortunate. yeah, it's awesome, awesome. So let's take a look at your collection here. Yeah, let's go. Uh, so so here we have first. Uh, you wanna. You want to talk us through this? Uh, talk us so, through it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, sure. So this, this is, is where you're of, sitting right now. That's right? where I'm sitting right now. This is kind of like an establishing shot. You don't see the details that are closest to you, but you will mm -hmm. in another shot. But mm -hmm. so oh, I was sorry. Gonna, no, sorry. that's quite right. Right there. Here we go. Uh, so it's a established shot. That's the reverse shot. That's where I'm sitting right now. Right, and you see the details at the beginning there. Uh, this is my uh, display slash display room slash office. It used to be my display room slash. Dungeons and Dragons Warhammer table room, but that table has uh, has been removed and it is now my office. Um, I do a lot of work from here. Um, when Such a I clean, nice, awesome. I love how this looks. Yeah, thank you, thank you. That's yeah. that's what I was going for, kind of a, a semi museum museum look. So here and we're just um, gonna rotating around. Yeah, here and here we have on the left hand side there is where I have mainly the details with the DC stuff. But on the walls, here are some commission pieces I've had at conventions. 
So that first one at the top, The Wolverine, is um, by George Perez. Uh, I got a few years back. It was a quick sketch he did for me. Um, when you go to convention, you know, you can go to up to the artist and commission them for a quick sketch. So I got that done because um, George Perez is one Sweet. of my favorite I, artists. I love Wolverine. Yeah. What about this piece? Here? That's by Jimmy Chung. That's Dr. Doom. And I love his work. Um, and I haven't collected comics for a while. So I don't know if he's still around. He probably is because he was such, he was one of the main artists at the time about a decade ago. So I think I got this around 20, maybe between 2010 and 2011. Uh, he's a great guy. Um, I wanted a Dr. Doom from him. And so I had that commission and he did it, you know, like 30 minutes. So <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah. Just, it's nice to be able to have that. Here. And that piece, that's a Nick Fury from Steve Fury. McNiven, uh, who was the artist. He was very popular. He did the Civil War crossover uh, back in 2007-ish, I think. And that was one of my favorite comic book, like, big events ever. Um, so, And I loved his artwork in particular. So he had this. He, this wasn't commissioned. He was there. I talked to him. And he had a piece that he had left over because he didn't have time for a commission. And he didn't want to sell it because he had messed up on it. Um, there's like erasure marks on it if you look close. And I said, no, I think it's great. I just want that. And he's like, okay, fine here. Just, just take it. Um, and I did. So that's, that's his piece. It's a pencil and it's in pencil, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So here, uh, we're looking, oh boy, somebody's going to get excited here. Hang on. Oh, let, let's, let's, let's see. Hey again. Welcome back. See, I'm glad you came back. This is a good time. This is a good time. Yeah, I, I had to be here for this. You know, excellent. For someone who prefers Marvel, you sure have a nice DC collection. I know. I thank you, sir. Thank you. I know. I like. I said it might be a uh, my collection might uh, go against my choice, right? Let's take a look here. I have real nice pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Some very old Hot Toys there, and some that are newer. Some black and white. Some statues. So here we have first, we have a scarecrow and uh, yeah. So that's a scarecrow that came with this demon Batman as a pack. Yes. Um, yes. And Harvey Dent. Harvey Dent. That's the first release of Harvey Dent. Uh, I remember getting that guy for 90 bucks when he was first released. Um, I think he retailed for like 140, 150 and I got, got him on sale. Uh, so those were the days <laughs> back in 2008, 2009. Is he flipping a coin? He is flipping a coin. Uh, it's very hard. Not it's very difficult to not lose that coin. <laughs> but he's yeah, flipping I would a imagine coin. So there's a little coin in his hand there. Nice, nice, nice. Below we have uh, yeah. You were mentioning is it a demon, demon, demon yeah. bat? Yeah, I, I don't have that original Batman Begins suit, but I have him. Uh, I love that demon bat. This is nice. actually um, uh, my wife's and I collection. The the Adam Hughes. Um, Power is a power of the DC line. I forget, but that line of statues, I really like that. Um, there's a few more to the to the right of it, but that's uh, my wife and I collected those as well as the bust in the front. And I, that's a Hot Toys cause baby in the front that I got when I was in Hong Kong, and just some lead. What, what is the cause baby? The one in the middle. The one I believe the one in the middle is the cause baby. One of the original cause babies, like yeah. several years back. Wonder Woman is looking good. I like yeah, that. Yeah, like it's a good pose. line. Good little statue line. All right. Moving up here. Oh, I don't know these guys. Yeah, you don't I've know never these seen guys. them before. No, absolutely not. Let me introduce you to them. <laughs> this is that's a DXO one Joker. I did have the the second, the Joker two point but I sold them earlier this year. Yeah, because I like this one. That was uh, a two pack. Yeah, I saw you had the. Uh, the other guy in the other detail. In the police uniform, you had to buy yeah, the, the second uniform. body, That's which right, I did. Yeah. I That's just love DX, this look. DX12, isn't that right yep. there? Yeah, I, lo I love this this uh, this look on the Joker with the grenades. And then the DX12, uh, I believe it is, for Batman. Uh, yeah. I think that was a great release, you know, even with the original cape that it has right there. It's a pretty cool figure. Uh, that's the one I have. But mine is sporting the Christian Bale because I'm, I'm wearing the cowl, so. Oh, I understand. Well, you can't yeah. both have the cowl on at the same time, right? That's right. So it only makes sense. Yeah, but you you got him wearing the cowl. I mean, I like how he looks wearing the cowl, of course. Yeah. yeah, Looks awesome. Oh, here we have, speaking of, no cowl. There we go. Oh, go back a little bit. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, I, I love this release. This Ro um, The bank uh, robber. 
uh, yeah. Joker, yeah, that's your original bank robber again, right, but right. 2008, 2009. Um, that was my favorite figure at the time. It's still a great figure. Um, and then the Batman, I just love this look from the Dark Knight with the backpack on uh, right before he jumps over. And uh, being able to see that that building in, in person in Hong Kong was always pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, yeah, that building jumps off in Hong Kong. Yeah, I forgot. I think it was it's a if, finance think, center. if th things keep going on the way they are, I'm going to have to do one of those tricks like Batman did to, you know, hit, hitch a ride to Hong Kong all the way over there. Hey, you let me know. Well, uh, maybe I can meet you over there to, if things get better. Yeah. I'll watch you jump off, you know, with the glider and everything. <laughs> that, that may not go so well. <laughs> I'll be there for for support, though. Uh, <laughs> or trying to talk you out of it. Uh, one of the two. Uh, yeah, maybe that would be a good idea. <laughs> yeah. That is the best kind of support, is it? <laughs> okay, so what do we have here? Uh, that's just the same line of statues, Adam Hughes designs that uh, my wife and I collected. Um, I love this series of figures. Adam Hughes is one of my favorite artists, too. You'll see some other pieces by him uh, from Sideshow later on, but just pretty cool line. Nice DC goodness. Yeah. I love it. Here. And speaking of artists, um, Alex Ross. Uh, Kingdom Come series of ac uh, series of action figures. I don't have many action figures left in my collection. Uh, and these, as action figures, the design was cool. The the execution, they have horrible limbs. They, they barely stand. So the fact that they haven't fallen over again <laughs> is a miracle. But this is a cool line to look at. Yeah, they look pretty cool. Yeah. Got Batman and Superman standing in the front. That's, yeah. Always. Batman's always. gonna be in the front. Speaking of, of what do we yeah. got here? <laughs> some of my favorite hot toys. Um mine, mine too. Some yeah. of my these are some probably my top two next to Dark Side Anakin. Uh even with the trash bag cape that he comes with. Yeah, we're gonna take a closer look here. Yeah, this is I definitely need to get an uh, an Unreal custom. You got him with a banged up face towards the end of the movie. Yeah, because nobody has that face on them when yeah, they display including me. I didn't I, I didn't yeah. go with that. So I figured that was pretty cool. I'd like, uh, and you, you know, managed to pose him. How did you do that? That's like a heck of an accomplishment. You actually thank posed him somehow. I mean, mine is always stiff. I can't even do this. No, th th thank you. I always go for the minimal poses. I like the museum poses, not not to strain the suit too much, right? Um, I think the cape looks ter terrible on it. I need a custom cape. It looks yeah, like a trash bag, kind of a but yeah, that's kind of necessary. But even so, uh, you know, awesome figure. Yeah, you, you have him with a battery. Yeah, I just thought it would be pretty cool just, you know, yeah. stretching out the battering for no reason other than it looks cool. Sure. Oh, love that statue yeah, in the back. This, this, um, this piece here. The, yeah, that's a cool looking bat. Yeah. So bat a PVC, man. yeah, PVC statue in the back, which is people, you know, like to harp on PVC statues, but it looks great. And then on the front, a couple of black and whites. The George Perez one on the left is signed by him, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So wow. Black and oh, whites. Oh, oh, bats. I yep. love it. Yep. Haven't added to this black and white line in a while, but this I'd like this line. Little small figures. Pretty cool. Yeah. Or statues, not figures, I should say. Mm -hmm. What do we and have then, here in the top? Of course, wow. Sideshow. I remember when Sideshow first got the DC license, right? And that Batman was the first one I picked up. And to be honest, I've never really liked that Batman. I know. But really? that's why, that yeah, cool to me. it does. Uh, in person, I there's something about it. The way the cape comes off his right shoulder that just throws everything off for me. I don't okay. know. I don't know what it is, it's but um, I've never heard anyone else say that they don't like it. I know it's just me. Uh, so, but so you're not you're not fond of the pose. No, I'm not. And um, it's just it's yeah. hard. People say a lot of times, you know, get into the statue games because I'm done with hot toys and say, like, well, I've been in the statue game selling statues. I've done it and it's not easy. So <laughs> there is that. And so why if I don't like it, why did I keep it? Because it's hard to sell. I, I see. Yeah. But the rest of the line was great. Loved all the statues. Oh, so this well, was, I, I think we're done with DC here. Yeah. But it, hey, um, I like you. You got a nice DC you. collection. Thank you, sir. It means a lot it. coming from the Batman. I appreciate collectors who have a love for DC. Excellent. Excellent, Excellent. man. I'll we'll certainly you do. Later. Uh, hope you didn't mind that. No, I love the co-hosts. <laughs> the co-hosts are great. It's, it's good to have a co-host every now and then. Uh, 
Yeah, it, I, I can't run the show by myself, you know, so. No, of course not. Of course not. You, you know, no one expects you to. This is this is good. <laughs> so what are we looking here? So this is where the comic book collectors are going to want my head on a plate, right? Because, yes, these are real. Um, so the reason I have this is the first appearance of Wolverine, or should I say second? But anyways, that first appearance of Wolverine in the Hulk. Um, I got this because I was at a convention, and this was a very messed up copy. You could probably tell. And I got it for like 100 mm -hmm. bucks. But the, the reason I got it, I had no intentions to doing so, is because the artist was there, Herb Trimp. And he was, you know, he's since then has passed away, unfortunately. He's no longer with us. Uh, okay. But that's also why I got it, because I wanted to meet Herb Trimp, the artist. And I know, you know, he was old. You know, older gentleman at the time, and I was like, you know, it's probably going to be one of my last uh, chances to meet him. So I did that. I bought the comic. I wanted to have, I wanted to have something for him to sign, and I was like, what better than this? I got a cheap copy um, of that. Can I say a hundred dollars is cheap because the good copies go for thousands of dollars, right? So I got that. It was cheap. I got it signed by him. I just put it in this display, um, and it, and I say uh, people will hate it because this is not the best uh, protection for a comic book. Those cheap little displays, but hey. Um, it was just the experience. It's just mm -hmm. uh, something that captures the experience for me when I look yeah. at it. Yeah, sure. It's nice. Nice. Yeah. Well, thank you. I, I love that you don't only, you know, you don't only have figures. You're not collecting figures. It's just kind of a full package of statues, figures, a little. I, I love variety. And I don't have mm -hmm. this kind of variety you have. But nonetheless, I do love variety. But I just, what I yeah, try to do you. is just keep variety in terms of not only Marvel, DC, and uh, Star Wars. I try to have some other uh, stuff. That's the kind of variety I, I go for. But, you know, your variety is really great. Thank you, man. I, I try to keep a good balance. Um, some more comic books. I was signed by Chris Claremont. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and this is just giant size X-Men. Again, cheap versions, cheap copies of them. Uh, but they are original. Uh, Secret Wars. Loved this cover as a kid. And Demon in a Bottle. Iron Man. Classic. That's just a cool statue I put over the door to the bathroom. <laughs> this caught my eye. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a plaque of the uh, the Giger alien, the big chap, right? Yeah. Um, I just like it. And the funny thing, if you look at the the dome, the clear dome on the top of the head, it is the mm -hmm. cheapest blister plastic you can possibly think of. If you touch it, it kind of in, indents. Uh, mm -hmm. But from afar, it looks good. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, it looks good to me. From yeah. What I can see here, it's it's pretty cool. All right. So what are we moving on here? Oh, these. Uh, one to yeah. one size uh, helmets. Uh, that is, looks that looks pretty awesome. Both that's, of these. Yeah, that's the, the the one on the top is the EFX Boba Fett, which I just got. Um, it's okay. Uh, I think it's I got it for way under retail. I think the retail is too much for it. But hey, um, uh, I'm not a helmet that, collector. That looks legit to me. Yeah, it looks it looks good. It, it looks good. I, I think it's a little too expensive for the price. But okay. Hey, I'm no one to talk. Um, so. Mm -hmm. I, I like the lineage of it, though. I will say that. Uh, and that is Hasbro. Mando Hasbro. I just got this recently, and that's pretty cool. Barely fits on my head, but it's... A, yeah, I know. It's, it's cool. really, really chrome-looking. Um, that just kind of... You know, we had this conversation, remember, about the chromeness. Yeah. Which, what is accurate? What's not accurate? Yeah. Um, it's hard to tell. It just depends on the scene, isn't it? Yeah, it there's so the many scene. props. Like, one helmet is chrome like chrome bumper chrome and one is like matte and dull and it depends who's wearing it what's the lighting sequence then post post processing and post editing like every version is right technically as long right. as it's metallic yeah yeah but here we have this i mean this this really chrome look is is awesome it's pretty cool yeah, yeah. especially for the price and the detail that goes into it those the black series hasbro's are um, Galaxy's Edge lightsabers. Uh, that is technically Ray's lightsaber up in the front, not Luke's. But I got it because I was, was... going to say that that lightsaber has had many owners. <laughs> yeah, it's. I think it's marketed as Episode Seven, technically Ray's okay. lightsaber. But I got it because it was like it looked pretty cool. Like the size. I don't like a lot of the Galaxy's Edge Disney sabers because the size is completely off. But this one was close enough where I was like, wow, that's pretty cool, and, and you, it's great for the price. Same thing with Leia's. I really like that Leia design. Close enough to the size, pretty cool. I was going to ask you. I actually didn't recognize the the lightsaber in the back. I didn't know which one that was. So it's Leia's lightsaber. Yeah, Episode yeah. Nine, Leia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, I remember. I just I'm not familiar with uh, the look so much of the lightsaber. Itself. And you barely see it in the movie. Like I, no. I mean, when I saw it after the movie, I was like, "Well, that's cool. Who's that?" It's like, "Oh, it's Leia's." I was like, "Oh, all right, cool." Is it yellow? 
it's gold. Like it's like a yellow gold. It's right. that color is pretty accurate that you see on your screen. No, but I mean the the blade. Oh no, the blade is blue. Oh, it's got a blue blade. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I remember Ray at the end. Oh, but that's the one she she that was her own lightsaber. That's her own lightsaber, yeah. And and now we're gonna have Grogu kind of countering that. It's like with I'm, the yellow. I'm the one with the yellow I'm the one with lightsaber. the yellow lightsaber. <laughs> it's only room for one yellow lightsaber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's interesting. I, I'm very curious to see what this whole thing evolves into. I agree. I agree. Fun times ahead for Star yes, Wars. Yes, definitely, definitely. So is Poseidon? Uh, that is a random oh, no, statue of Hades. Oh, uh, Hades. Oh, I got I this got totally wrong. Yeah, I got the uh, with uh, service. Um, I got this while in Italy. Uh, I went to a shop and they had statues. And I was like, that's pretty cool. So that's why I got it. I got yeah, it I should have known. That's not a trident. So yeah. it's just more like it's got two spikes. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just thought it was pretty cool. Hades, huh? Yeah. The under realm, the, you know, it's kind of like the realm of you know after you die. I I I love Greek mythology, so oh, yeah, that's why that's I love Clash of the Titans. That's why I had to have the figure of Clash of the Titans. It's 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 great. I mean, it's and it's influenced so many you know modern day oh, uh, myth and heroes. So yeah, it's it's and, and you know great. what's great is you can borrow from Greek mythology and create your own story, and there's no copyrights or anything. And absolutely, it's one of the best stories of all time. Yeah. Absolutely. There, it's therefore, awesome. it's there available for those who want to borrow. It's, I mean, I'm tempted to make a story myself with something that comes from that. I mean, I love, you know, uh, the story of Perseus and Medusa. That, that's such a great story. Such a classic. Um, and then, such you know, a and then games like God of War, going back to video games. Yeah, that's that's a great game. I remember playing the original. I did play that one. Yeah. Okay, so. A couple of Gundams here, um, yeah. three Gundams that I've done recently. Uh, this is so much fun to build and paint Gundams, but I take my time. You know, the one in the on the left, uh, Sinanji Stein. I mean, that's complete resin kit. Uh, the Sasabi on the right, that's the original kit. The um, the Verka, but it's got. I did a lot of work to it, customizing. Obviously, they all have custom paint jobs. And then the Banshee Unicorn in the back is. You can't see it, but it, it's all customized panel lines and and uh, styrene plates. Um, it, I, I take my time with them. They look pretty cool, and there's there's a lot of fun if you can find the time to actually do one correctly. Dude, they look great. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is the John Wick I won from Sideshow. Uh, it, it, what you won? Yeah, I was actually those sweet. That's a nice figure to win. Yeah, I, I was on the. It's it's a white elephant game. If you're familiar with white elephant, but in during December of last year of 2020, they had one of their um, spectaculars, spectaculars, yeah, 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 right, and right, right. Okay. and I was it was basically a white elephant, and I ended up with this guy, and I, I won it. They picked 12 people out awesome. of all their the people that entered, and we got to participate in this game show on YouTube, and I won this, and it was it's pretty cool. Wow. I love this figure. This figure is awesome, and I love the movie, so it worked for me. Yeah. Do you like the head sculpt? I do. It's not perfect, yeah. but I like I like the head sculpt. It, it looks know, better in person. I'll tell I you. I know that. there is a lot of people were saying like the Max Newt head sculpt is better. Do you are you familiar with that? Uh, yeah, uh, I've seen it. Uh, it looks good. I think this head sculpt looks good in person too. I'd have to compare both in person. Yeah, I've never right. Seen the Max right. Nut in, in in person, so. Mm -hmm. So just some getting into some AVP stuff, uh, yeah, the Predators we're gonna, line. We're take a closer look here in a yeah. minute. This is one of my oldest collectibles that I have, that alien pile statue at the bottom. But this Hot toy. so you got your Berserker, um, your Adrian Brody, uh, was it Royce from the from Predators? Um, and then this is just an artistic interpretation of from Hot Toys of Machiko, uh, which is originally mm. from the comics. I saw this figure at a shop recently. I'm not familiar with the character, but yeah. So, so there was a character Machiko in the original AVP comics, right? Uh, and this is their Hot Toys interpretation of that character. Uh, mm -hmm. She did get dressed in Predator gear, and she traveled with the Predators for some time. So, yeah, it kind of looks like Angelina Jolie a little bit. Uh, they always said that mm, when this yeah, video was released. Yeah, kinda, it's, I could kind of see that. It's, it's a pretty cool figure. Nice. Yeah, and this this call is that statue we're coming up on now is called the Alien <laughs> Pile, and I got this back maybe in two thousand five or earlier even. Um, I forgot. It's a Japanese artist sculptor if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. and it's a great piece 
Yeah, and then some just some Hellraiser figures because I yeah, don't I know where say, else to put them. I, I remember Hell, Hellraiser. Yeah, I, I love Clive Barker and his Hellraiser series. Um, it's good hoping memories. The, hoping the reboot is good. Uh, we'll see. Hmm. All right, let's see. So there, favorite figure from my favorite movie. Um, uh, this this alien here. Yeah, uh, a lot of uh, Hot it's Toys a big, did big, big chap, big chap. Yeah, big chap. Hot Toys took some artistic liberty. Uh, it does differ a little bit from Giger's design, but I think it's pretty close, and it ultimately is a great figure. Um, and then we got Kane and Dallas in the back, uh, which is pretty cool. They never got the license right for um, the license rights for Kane, so that the head mm. sculpt looked nothing like the actor. Uh, and then here we have Arnold as Dutch, mm -hmm. and uh, Billy didn't have the license rights for him either. Plus, classic yeah. predator. We're gonna, we'll, we'll take it. Yeah, here we go. So the one in the back there on the left, that was my first hot toy ever. That's Chopper Predator from AVP. I did not like that film. Uh, it's a which fun one, Which one in, uh, in the back one? Uh, the, the one with the, the brown bronze Yeah, mask. yeah, that's what I thought. So that yeah, was your yeah. first hot toy. First hot toy ever was Chopper Predator. And yeah, I was... missed asking you that before. I'm glad we clarified that. Yeah, that's that's yeah. always a, a nice question. It's like, which one triggered? What, what got you going? And this, this was rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah, this was back in 2007, 2008, sometime around there. I don't remember. And this was when the Predator figures being some of the first, not the first, but some of the first like licensed one, licensed figures, they came in a kit. Like it didn't come dressed. Like it was the predator body, and like you had the net, you had to put the I net on the body. I heard about that, yeah. Yeah, you had to put the armor on. Like everything was, it was a kit. It wasn't like, you know, all, it didn't come together like it does now. Um, and I never had any of the original aliens, cl colonial marines, but I think it was the same for them too. I could be wrong, but that was my first one. Um, mm -hmm. So that's, that's, I was, was never it, was it like one. one after another after that, or yeah. was it? Pretty much. It Pretty was much like after be, that, yeah. like it's I started. Yeah. Yeah. That was my first one. I, I have the classic Predator. This is the original from the first Predator movie, right? Yes. And, this uh, is the classic 1.0, if you will. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. That yeah. doesn't, doesn't have it. It's not long enough. I felt like the, mm -hmm. what, what do you call these? The things? dreads. Like the dreads. There the dreads. Go. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. They weren't long yeah. enough. Um, yeah. They're cool. They're nice and flexible, but they're, yeah, they weren't long enough. Yeah, that's why I ended up getting the classic. But this this guy looks good too. I yeah, mean, definitely. I mean, that's that's a predator through and through for sure. Yeah, yeah. And then some Terminator Salvation. That's a seven hundred and the six hundred T seven hundred T six hundred. I used to have some more Terminator figures. I had uh, the Kristen Bale, John Connor. I had Marcus Wright from that movie. I've, I've since sold those, and I had. T-1000 in disguise as Sarah Connor from Terminator 2. I've got, I sold that one figure, but those were all great. And in the front, there are some Guyver figures, uh, Guyver being one of my favorite animes. Um, I don't like a lot of animes, but definitely love Guyver. Mm -hmm. I think those are Max Factory, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay. And then there's, I have a lot of Warhammer. Uh, mm -hmm. These are all kits I've painted. If you don't know what Warhammer is, it's a tabletop oh, miniature game. I, I, I so, do, but I know you know. Of, know. A, lot of, a lot of our viewers maybe are not familiar with Warhammer. Um, you know, if you want to just explain briefly, sure. So it's, it's yeah, t uh, Warhammer and Warhammer 40,000 are tabletop uh, miniature wargaming games, right? So you have to buy the kits that come. If you've ever built a model kit, that's what they come as. Both the vehicles and the figures come as model kits you have to build and paint uh, in order to play the miniature game. And it's a great game, especially if you like that tactile feel of playing essentially what is an RTS video game, but in real time. Like, I know that's what it stands for, right? But mm -hmm. an actual real time, physically, with models moving around. It's a great way yeah. to play with your toys. Yeah, no, I, I have great memories. And, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't do half as good of a paint job as you're doing here oh, I, you, did, I did my best <laughs> i tried to do my best no it, it's good i mean you only need to do you just need to get some paint on them as i used to tell people so yeah, but um yeah and here so we're here at, yeah this, this you know this needless to say this is awesome to me and you. i love how you have the cartridge there i love yeah I love so that these touch. are these these are i don't collect a lot of NECA. this is probably four or five NECA things that I have, right? But this was great. They did an amazing job with these quarter scales. 
it's like they were each worth like 100 bucks and and they look like people thought they were statues when they came in when even when i had them out like not in the detolf i used to just have them out and people thought oh it's a statue i was like no it's it's an action figure uh, it's just quarter scale and it's it's amazing um, are they heavy very heavy yeah they're they're i'd say like five pounds which is mm. heavy if you think about it um yeah i got the so, miniature versions of these guys which look great they don't look this great in detail because of course of size yeah but the, you know but they look but good too they, they look really good too yeah. if i had the choice you know back then i got the quarter because it was just the quarter scale but if, That's if right, they were yeah, both I available i probably would have got the smaller scale um but i'm glad i went with this and the cartridge yes that was one of my favorite nes games um mm -hmm. it's good memories yeah the, the one with uh, the red bandana on all of them that's that's awesome and of course you gave michelangelo the pizza that's of course that's the, yeah of course man <laughs> uh, he's always eating the pizza yeah rafael has always been my favorite turtle you have a favorite turtle donatello okay. um i always because he was a nerdy guy same sure. reason i like uh, sure. tech from the bad batch right so <laughs> yeah more yeah, warhammer gotcha. yeah, yeah more, more warhammer here uh i played space uh, i assume Wolves. you painted all of these. this is all painted by me this is all hand painted um yep. Awesome. That 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 big one is um in the middle there. It looks like a wolf head mechanical mech thing. You're talking about this guy? Yeah, that's all hand painted, so that's oh, not a decal. Um, wow, that's nice. freehand wolf wow. face. Um, yeah, uh, got me a lot of comments online, which is pretty cool. I, I really yeah, this, this was a great process. The detail is mind yes. blowing. So all built, uh, painted from scratch. So cool stuff. And this guy in the bottom, uh, Warhound Titan, Warhammer again. Uh, for bigger games, it was a lot of fun to build. Huh. So this was a resin it. figure, uh, no, not plastic. So, talk about detail! Wow, you really go into detail. Yeah, I try. I try. This is yeah. the, uh, oh my... no, you're, you're not trying. You're doing it. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> no compliment. Uh, yeah, that's you know credit words too. Yeah, and this is a uh, that's com a completely modified tank. It's a plague marine. Uh, tank so normally it just looks like a like a futuristic tank if you will and then i added all the decay zombie kind of aspects you see on it all the bur the pimple bursting it's supposed to look pretty disgusting so that's what i went for excellent yeah. what and were those called the one the ones with the armor the heavy armor they had a name so the one on the left there is an obliterator the one on the right are terminators terminator armor there's another name that I was uh, because I remember like in, in the game Space Hulk. You remember Space Hulk? Those were Terminator armors. Terminator um, armors. Dre tactical Dreadnought armor is another name for Terminator armor. Um, Dre Dreadnought, maybe. Yeah, it's just tactical it's, Dreadnoughts. It's, then, then there are their their Dreadnoughts, which are because I, I had but... I had an um, I had Space Orcs, and yes. spa Space Orcs could ally with Chaos. Yes, I remember and, the time. Yeah, I didn't I start those, playing had, them, but and I wanted the armors with the chaos. Um, yes, those those type of armors, like the one we're seeing right here, because I really love the look of these armors. It's like I I love orcs, but I gotta have some of these guys in my in my army at the time. I yeah. remember. Yeah, the so, ones on the on the right there are just chaos terminators. Uh, that's what they're called now. At least when I started. Oh, okay. Playing. So yeah. I I think I still have a few of those back yeah. in Spain. With oh, my parents are still holding them for me i wonder are these things like going up in value like the old school ones no Do you have any idea no up no. in value i mean if you have something if you have anything in mitten box maybe hmm. but if you have it no, old, open and you paint yeah, it yeah yeah so just more warhammer stuff vehicles um troops Got lots of fun painting yeah yeah um, you, you've invested many oh, yeah. hours here <laughs> that one on the, that's yeah that was cool the one on the right on uh, from that was in White Dwarf magazine. I got it featured there. On the oh, page. I remember that magazine. I used to collect yeah. that magazine. Yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. I spent a lot of time. This I started playing heavily in 2010, and I stopped around 2017 for like seven years. So I did a lot of painting. Um, it's one of the main reasons I stopped collecting hot toys uh, back in 2012, 2013, and we oh, started. You took a break. Yeah, I started collecting yeah. hot toys in 2007 to 2013, mm -hmm. and I took like a five-year break and started collecting again in 2018. But um, this is the other line of that we're uh, on the screen right now. Adam Hughes yeah. uh, sideshow statues. I collect, my wife and I collected these together uh, a few years back, and we were actually able to get some of them. You can't see here, but we are actually able to get some of them and take them to a convention to get them signed by Adam Hughes. 
who is a great like pinup style artist. Um, mm -hmm. So this is one of my favorite collections, uh, and I hold it very dear to my heart because my wife yeah. and I collected it together. So, it's sexy ladies, <laughs> indeed, uh, the Marvel ladies. Yeah, yeah, awesome. So pretty cool line, and a great, a great artist too. Great guy. Mm -hmm. uh, the other neck up piece I have that Alien Queen. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my second Hot Toys ever. That dog alien. Oh, dog. Okay, the one yeah. in, that was below there. That yeah. was my second Hot Toys purchase ever, which, by the way, rubber body, still in perfect condition, not even in a detolf. I've never applied anything to that rubber body. And still no holding up great. Unfortunately. I, I love hearing stories like that. It gives yeah, me hope so, for my figures. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And if anybody's saying, hey, that's a bad position because you can drop it. Yeah, it is. And I did. <laughs> and it broke the wrist. But the rubber body is still in great condition. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And uh, Prometheus uh, statue there in the back. Yeah, that's a sideshow engineered statue. Um, I think it was a limited run because uh, again, a lot of people didn't like that movie, and I I love that movie. Um, it was great I, in expanding the lore. I remember that scene very well. So yeah, it's just I love that design, that freaky, the mm -hmm. black eyes, and this is getting into Marvel. So yeah. So we're is... going to uh, do some Marvelness here. Yep. So I'm just Captain America. I was able to actually got him from Sideshow. Uh, I would imagine you're getting Fat Thor. To yes, go with, uh, to uh, go with that trio. Yes. Yeah, yeah, me too. I should be getting that guy hopefully soon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Stan Lee, Joe Simon, uh, signed comic in the back there. And the original Loki from Avengers. Uh, mm -hmm. Odin is great. The first Thor from 2011. Yeah. Uh, that's my only third-party figure, that Punisher from Punisher Warzone. And okay. then the Hot Toys Logan. From, uh, I, I used to have Origins. that. That's that's a pretty good figure. There's there's yeah. some really good knockouts, uh, uh, knockoffs out there. Knock yeah. <laughs> knockoffs. <laughs> no, yeah, they, they are. There, there are plenty. There yeah, are the plenty. only way to tell, I think, is the base. Yep, it's pretty much the only way to tell is if uh, if it's too white, it's pretty much a knockoff. Correct. Correct. Yeah, you gotta yeah. you gotta like look if it's got the blueish the blue that yeah. that blue tint to it yeah yeah yep. Yep. You're, something... you're right sir oh god yeah it's cool how you can tell the difference um sometimes sometimes it's hard to tell but yeah 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 I mean when I got it I had I wanted to make sure I had a, a real one so that's why I know about it <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely I, I want to get them back I I I think I would I've had several Wolverine figures. And you know, for for different reasons, I have, I've moved them all on. But um, this is maybe the guy I want to get back. Yeah, one of my favorite combo characters, and another. I, I didn't like that movie per se, but it was a great design. Um, it's, uh, the CGI. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. But it was it was a great design. If you have one Hot Toys Wolverine. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Or Logan too. at least, and then Thanos, of course. I love that. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, me too. A little bit of a custom base topper I made for this guy. Um, that's right. I see that. Yeah. yeah, that's that's not. I have this figure, and that's not the base he comes with. That's for yeah. sure. That was just a quick base topper I put together just to give it some texture and you know something just small. And it's yeah. it's actually quite big, but the figure's so big that it dwarfs it, right? Mm -hmm. So it just fits right over the base. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and you had to modify the detail here to fit him. Yes. Yeah, I did. Uh, bought some aftermarket 3D printed components and modified mm -hmm. some of my favorite Captain Americas, the original uh, one from the 2010 movie or 2011. Mm -hmm. uh, those are all from that. Yeah, uh, I love that rescue version and that uh, the Red Skull. It's, yeah, it's Red a great Skull. line. Yeah. And this is the only figure I've ever bought from Hong Kong. Uh, like recently, I think I did bought it from Toy Buy, Toys Buying Agent, and it was only because it was so cheap. And I love the diorama base. Like I wanted, I just wanted the diorama base. Uh, I know uh, what you're talking about. That is a very cool. That's what, like one of the coolest bases I've ever seen. Awesome. Like the flickering lights, so cool, and the transparent, transparent layers. You can't really tell in this picture, but in hand, it's amazing. I can only imagine because I have a dark side Anakin, and you know yep. that's a cool, that's a cool base. But this took it a step further. Oh yeah, this is a great. Great base. And then my my last remaining Transformer pieces for my collection. Yeah. I love Transformers. I didn't have yeah. too many of them, but I had quite a number. As, is as is a that our original Optimus Prime from back in the day? No, that is the Ameri the Masterpiece line. The uh, I guess the American or the U the Western U.S. version of that, not the Japanese version. Okay. So that's the masterpiece line, as opposed to the one the Star Scream next to it, which is the Takara masterpiece Star Scream. 
because I want to get a, I want to get an Optimus Prime at some point, but I, I'd like to get like the one I was playing with uh, when I was a kid. Oh, there's yeah, there's a lot of options out there. Uh, yeah. it, it, unless you're looking for like a mint in box, you know, eighty three no, 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 or, or whatever, eighty four. No, no, but no, there's so. a lot of options out there. Oh, Pretty I've cool seen. I've, I've been seeing. There's just so many. I just like. Oh, I, I I was thinking to get one like a month ago, and I was seeing so many options. Like I I don't have time to 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 check all the options. So I'm gonna postpone yeah. it. But at some point, I'd like to get one. Yeah, they're, they're sure. It's it's a cool idea, you know. Um, it was a cool series. Yeah. Okay, so and we some got some statues sideshow. under the... Sideshow, know? yeah. And are um, all, all, all sideshow? These are all sideshow. So okay. that Red Skull premium format, the classic Iron Man comic cat, which, look at the base. I hate that. The paint is chipping off. Thanks, I know. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to see that in a minute here because you, I, I, I figured I, you wanted to emphasize that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people complain about Hot Toys quality. I'm like, dude. Dude, <laughs> it's <Yeah>. falling apart. <laughs> and I've had this for, for several years, so it's been like eight years. But it started falling apart the year I got it. Like, it's just Is that tripping. right? Yeah, and it's an easy yeah. fix. I mean, I could just like, yeah, you know, yeah. take I that would, off and I paint it. Imagine. I it's would a imagine. very easy fix. Especially yeah. you, you can fix this easily. Yeah, this is, a, is a, I mean. A, but but then it's not original part. anymore. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I mean, original chipped. But <laughs> but you don't hey, notice it at you, first. You, you sent it to me, so I figured you, you yeah, definitely yeah, wanted to discuss this. <laughs> I did, I did. I was just like, oh, every time I see it, it irks me. I just don't have time to fix it right now. But right, yeah, or right. I haven't had time for the few past few years. And my centerpiece is here. Uh, these are all prime ones. So you know, nice. Arkham Batman on the right. That, that um, figure that I want not figure statue, right? Statue. Yeah, yeah. Statue um, yeah. looks awesome. Yeah, and definitely then caught my eye. Definitely, it's like wow, that, that that looks imposing right there. Yeah, probably the, some of the more. I mean, these are the biggest pieces. You know, uh, the the Batman and the Deathstroke on either side are one third scale, right? Which is, I mean, I love them. I mean, Deathstroke's not even. I never. He was an okay character. I never loved him per se, but the statue, the colors just pop so much. I had to get that. And then in the middle, I've like, been I, hearing I rumors of a Deathstroke series on HBO Max. I hope so. That would be That'd great. Be awesome. I do yeah. like the character. So yeah, I mean, you know, this, this looks like the Snyderverse slowly is surviving. I hope so. I really hope that that universe. They're allowing works. it to survive. <laughs> Indeed. And then Giver, um, I, I love that anime as a kid. Um, so when Prime One announced the statue, I had to at least get that Giver One statue. Okay. Uh, it's a, an amazing, amazing statue. Amazing piece. Mm. I mean, some of the Sideshow original premium formats of Gambit and Rogue. Mm -hmm. That Rogue head I had to repaint because the eyes were terrible. Mm. Wolverine and Ultron Prime uh, and a Giger book in the back there. You know, uh, going back to Wolverine, one of the reasons I, I moved on most of my Wolverines is because I wanted a very classic looking Wolverine, such as the one like we're, the one we're seeing here. And I, I, I always wish Hugh Jackman, I think he like refused to wear something that looks yellow like spandex that. yeah probably I, yeah there's something going uh, i remember hearing stuff about hugh jackman i don't know if it's true or not you know there's, there's rumors all over the place but like he didn't want to he didn't want to do it yeah, i was, wish it, he would have <laughs> I, I i think they could have made a nice compromise and technically you can say they did for the first movie although it was all black but i mean i yeah, think they, I, they, I, they, know, I know what you mean but that does it didn't do it for me no it was way off yeah, i still wanted yeah, to see something yeah. much closer yeah, not yellow too. spandex, right? No, not, but, not necessarily. And, but, and yeah. days of future past, I've I've been seeing the um, that that suit looks cool. I I, yeah. I did have that figure uh, as well of Wolverine, but um, I wanted the you know I seen some good customs though. Have you seen those? Yes, like the helm yeah. uh, wearing that. Was it a Wolverine? Is it a cowl as well? Yeah, yeah, it, uh, yeah I guess yeah. it's a cowl a helmet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's cool. They just need for the movies. They just need to give them a reason to wear it. Yeah. One liner, it's like I wear it because this, and then it makes sense all of a sudden. You know? I, I mean, I love Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, and you know, unfortunately, we're not going to see probably any more of that, but um, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see, yeah, yeah, we shall see, yeah, we shall see. That is that is true, but I would have liked the helmeted look at some I agree. point, would have been I nice. Agree. 
And this was that was back in the day when sideshow statues used to sell out within a few hours when they oh, is that right? really went up for pre-order. Yeah, that Wolverine didn't last very long. Uh maybe a couple of hours, maybe a day or two. I don't remember. It was such a long time ago. Are right? they as pricey as I'm thinking they are? Uh the those side I think that Wolverine one was probably like 300 bucks. Oh, okay. That's okay. because it was back again. If it, if they were released it now, it would be more than double, right? But it was back yeah. in the day and it was limited to like, I don't know, maybe three, four hundred pieces. I have to look at the bottom of it, but I'm not I'm not a statue collector, so I don't know much about it. And I'm thinking, you know, uh, maybe it's my ignorance, but I'm thinking statue equals at least it's going to cost you a thousand dollars. Not right? always. Not okay. it depends what company and what the size is and all that. A lot of sideshow pieces are still way under that amount. Okay. Okay. Um, more than when I started collecting, right? Of course, it's been over a decade, uh, but you know, they're still under that price point. But if you start thinking about XM, I don't have any XM pieces. I don't have any Queen Studios pieces. But if you start with those kind of brands, the hot brands now, Queen Studios, j and uh, or even Prime One, then, yeah, you could be looking at over a 1000 Yeah. Yeah. Pricey, pricey. And uh, what do you, we have, uh, what are these books uh, in uh, comics? Uh, yeah, uh, books. Uh, some of the books on the bottom shelf, those are when I was, uh, since... I was a teenager to Star Wars books, the Timothy Zahn, the original uh, trilogy um, uh, with the, the Tron trilogy, uh, Wheel of Time books on the right there. Mm -hmm. uh, the magazines on top of that on the right are Warhammer magazines, White Dwarf and Codexes. Um, and then on the left, some graphic novels. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. That's about it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about the quality on this last video. But yeah, no, it's all right. We, you know, it was a longer video, so I had to get compressed more. But we, you know, I fixed it as best I could, uh, you know, utilizing cool. the pictures. Uh, we get a clear view here. So. Awesome. Yeah. This is an Anovos uh, Kylo Ren helmet. I got this in Celebration 2017 at the con floor. This is an awesome piece. It is more a pricier it's helmet because nice. it's from Anovos, right? But it's awesome. Fits great. We're gonna, we're gonna see here the pictures coming up. Yeah, Dark Side. I love Dark Side Anakin along yeah. with my '89 Batman and '89 uh, Joker. This, those are my three. Oh, favorite, is that right? Probably. Yeah. Hot toys. I, I love those lightsabers. Yeah, I customized th those myself. Um, oh, is that right? Yeah, I made those myself. Oh, is there anything you can't do? <laughs> there's plenty. Uh, there's plenty I can't do. <laughs> Thank you, though. So I know I just followed YouTube videos uh, and I was like, okay, I can do this myself. Um, I don't feel okay. proficient at it to cut, to offer it as a commission service. Right. Yeah. It, it gets hot and people will say that CCFL. I, I've, been, lights I've are, been hearing, I've been hearing, they, I've, I've been tempting, I've been tempted myself. Yeah. My lights are on right now. The lightsabers are not like sure. I, I keep them sure. on for a very limited amount of times. I'm not saying it's not safe. I'm just saying I'm. You, you're nope. worried. You're worried about the figure. <laughs> nope. I'm worried about setting fire to the house. <laughs> I am not in. I, I was. I thought you're worried about the heat emanating from the blade is just maybe going to deteriorate the figure. That's look, what I, I thought you're worried about. I, it gets really hot, and I'm not an electrician. You know, I don't know anything about this, so I'm. I will take the risk of doing it for myself, keeping it on very short periods of time. But I'm yeah. saying it because people have asked me, "Hey, can you commission these?" And I was like, "I don't feel safe. I don't want your Obi Wan robes to catch fire." Like, I'm not saying yeah, it will, yeah. but I don't know right. if enough about them to. Sure, sure. I hear you on that one. So just maybe, maybe I won't be doing it after all. Well, but no, I, did, I don't want people sweet. to. They, they look sweet, though. I mean, there's yeah. no denying they look. It, the only thing that doesn't look completely accurate is the tip. That's it. Yes. Yeah. And that's you trust me, you get over that because that's why I waited so long to do it. But you get over that. But I don't want people to think it's dangerous or anything. I just I'm right, not an electrician. Right, right. There's customizers yeah, yeah. out there that that's their job, right? Like they're electric, you know, certified electricians, whatever. And they know what they're doing. Yes, it gets hot, but it'll be safe. Like, go with them. Uh, but for me, I'm sure, not, you know, sure, it's, sure. it's just a gotcha, side. Gotcha. Thing. Yep. So here we have ESB Vader. I love this piece. This was pretty cool. I got this recently. My wife actually got this one for me um, mm -hmm. for my birthday. So oh, sweet, sweet gift. Awesome piece. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. And this is this is the original Rank, Rancor. Rancor. Rancor, yeah. Yeah, from Return of the Jedi. This was mine when I was a kid. Uh, so this is the one oh, I played right? with. Yeah, that's why I have it there because I played it with it when I was a kid. Um, yeah, and then... The figures in the back, I got them all at Celebration, and the one in the back there was signed by Mark. Signed, Campbell. I saw. It was signed, yeah. yeah. 
So Mark Hamill's a great guy when you meet him in person. Um, he sure seems like it. I, I haven't had the pleasure, but yeah. um, sure seems like. Yeah. And this is another one with the customized sabers. That's a custom um, topper I did I for mean, this there's, guy. There's no denying that looks fantastic. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I was yeah. I was going for the kind of like a Sith holocron triangular shape without taking up too much space. So I went for that triangle shape, you know, and then I did the CCFL uh, sabers and it's pretty cool. I don't have a lot of action poses with my figures, uh, but this one really lends itself to it. Oh no, Darth Maul. I mean, you know, he's all about the acrobatics and posing and all that. Yeah. This is a great figure too. Um, love this one. I like, uh, I like the look. Yeah, he's got yeah. that lip bite kind of thing yeah, where he looks like he's yeah. ready to like just it's very Darth Maul. you know beat you up. Um, uh, this was the last CCFL saber I did, and that one has a. Um, I have to fix that one. It's tilted. Okay. It's driving me crazy <laughs> whenever I look at it. I didn't notice. Yeah, um, yeah, and then some of these like I like the sequel trilogy designs, not my favorite sure. designs, but I love that kylo ren he looks mm -hmm. like a like a ghoul like this weird yes, creature yes, with like yes, a tattered yes. tape like i love that episode seven design yeah um yeah and then the, know, the, it, to me it reminds kylo ren reminds me a little bit of uh those templars templar yes am I saying and, that right so yeah, i've always knights, those knights and and I, i'm i'm a sucker yes. for that stuff so definitely I, I, me too love the look of kylo ren yeah uh, especially the force awakens look after that that's so much uh, yeah and i've always said like the four um especially force awakens it was a mix between i've always said knights templar mm -hmm. and like dracula nosferatu like you put those two together and you give it a sci-fi he took sword. off his helmet and became the wicked witch yeah yeah <laughs> and then there's that and then there's um i also have the latest kylo which is more like bella lugosi mixed with the knight templar but it's cool. And then the First Order Trooper, horrible articulation. Horrible. Oh, I, that's what I've heard. I've but heard. I do like the design, including the duck build face and everything. It's cool. Not as cool as the original designs, but I liked it. It's neat. And this is just, this is Fantasy Flight. It's a miniature game. Um, oh, okay. It's called X-Wing. Oh, Fantasy I see a Slave Flight. 1 there. Yeah, so it's Slave One, plenty. These yeah. are all Star Wars ships. Um, yeah. I haven't played that game in a while, but it's a great miniature tabletop game. Obi Wan and Doku still got to do his CCFL lightsaber and Doku. Yeah, we'll take a closer look here in a minute. Yeah. Obi Wan, I mean Obi Wan, um, Cody and, yeah, uh, and Boba, Boba Fett. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, one on the right. Great, great looking figures. These two. Yeah. yeah, I love this. I love these two figures. Um, even Qui Gon, a lot of people don't like his head sculpt. I thought it was I was fine. gonna say a lot of people don't like the head sculpt, but you're, you're I don't have the figure, but you you like it. Obviously. I I you liked know. it. Yeah, I mean I I understand what people are saying. I'm not blind okay. to it, but I okay. thought it was pretty darn close. So, uh, and Duke, custom, need, needless to say, Duke. Yeah. everybody loves that sculpt. I mean, yeah. it, what what is there not to love about him? And then some of the custom base toppers I do, both on Cody oh, and yeah. Boba Fett. Boba there, Fett, yeah. Yep. yep. I uh, just got this Ray figure from episode mm -hmm. nine. Uh, I, I like yeah, the design. I like the, I like the pose. Oh, I think. I, like yeah. I went for the sexy air traffic controller pose uh, with huh. the helmet and the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> air traffic control things. I don't know. I just thought it looked cool. Sure. Yeah, I like that helmet. Yeah. That's when she was uh, training. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. It's, it's neat. It's cool designs. And then we got uh, Dio. Dio. That's, it's pretty cool how it's magnetized. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, I, yesterday I was doing, uh, um, but by the time I put this video on, it's not going to be yesterday, but as of today, yesterday, when I was doing the live with Rob, he was asking me, isn't that uh, magnetized? Like, I don't remember. It's like, and then I did remember. It's like, yeah, you're right. So it is magnetized to the base. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, it's magnetized. And then these are sideshow ones. Um, so that's a very loose body sand trooper. Uh, it's funny. If you hold him by the chest, his legs are like... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, this Darth Vader is like super mega tall, isn't he? Super tall. Like he does not <laughs> like look at him. Like he is way too tall. This what I like about this New Hope Vader from Sideshow is that he's yeah. got the colors right. Uh, like the colors, are, go back. it's not just a black mask. You can't really tell, but here you can. Like if you notice closely, and if you notice closely in Episode mm -hmm. Four, the 4K Masters on Disney Plus, like there's different colors there. Like the top of his cheek is gunmetal, and then black. 
and then alternating like black gunmetal, like gunmetal throat. Like this figure captures it where I don't think the Hot Toys ones do. Hmm. Interesting points. Uh, little interesting things with yeah. that design. Of course, it's not completely accurate, but I like the fact that they captured that mm -hmm. on this new Hope Fader. Uh, I always recognize, you know, uh, the dead giveaway with Sideshow uh, pieces is the base. It's the same. Oh, it's yeah. on pretty much the same base. Always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, at, at least it says Star Wars on the top. Usually it says it on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I mean, it's good enough for me to keep, right? But, you know, that's why they're at the bottom right now. Sure. Hey, I, a lot of people put their least favorite figures at the bottom. I, I'm I'm not that way. I yeah. love my bottom figures just as much. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've kept them, right? I've, I've sold a yeah. lot of stuff. I haven't sold them. I love this movie. So Krennic with mm -hmm. the, the... Rogue One you were mentioning yeah, before. Yeah, yeah custom Di base toppers Di there. Director Krennic. Yeah. Yes, um, I love this character. I love the actor. Mm -hmm. um, that's a one. That's a Mando trooper, Death Trooper on the left, and the original Rogue One trooper specialist on the right. You know, I was watching uh, Dark Knight Rises, and uh, then it's like, I know this guy. Yeah, Director that's right. Krennic. Yes, he I, was... I didn't realize, you know, that was years ago. I didn't put two and two together when I saw Rogue One. But then going back to seeing Dark Knight Rises, like, oh, yeah, the, this the, guy's he... been around. Yeah, he, ben, ben Mendelsohn, uh, he's he's great. Um, yeah, no, he is. And he was great in Dark Knight Rises, his, his short role. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, he, he, he pretty much sim very similar characters. Very similar characters, yeah. um, like um, uh, Espinosa. Uh, we're talking about uh, Moff Gideon. Yes, yeah, he's, you know, he's a... um, he, he 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 plays always so. I mean, he plays it so well. Yep. But yeah, he's, he's... You, you you know what to expect when he shows up on screen. You pretty much know what yep. to expect. But I'm blown away every time. Character actor. When I yeah. saw in the boys, when I saw the boys, like. Oh, here we go again. This is good. <laughs> here comes Moff Gideon and the boys. Here comes yeah, Moff, Moff Gideon much. and the boys. Then, you know, obviously Moff Gideon, you know, in Star Wars. And then, of course, Breaking Bad. Yeah. Yeah. Great <sighs> series, too. Freaking A, man. Ugh. Yeah. I think that's why I'm going to get that Moff Gideon figure is because I really like the actor. That's another That's another reason to get it, right? Um, yep. That's why I have my Arnold from uh, Dutch from Predator. No, every time that guy shows up on screen, I, I'm like smiling. It's like, get ready because this guy so is going to yeah. steals the show. Yeah, he's great. He's great. <laughs> Speaking of great actors, oh my yeah. gosh, talk about powerful. I know. Uh, Mando, custom base mm -hmm. I did, I did right. for him, custom diorama. Um, I love this figure. Uh, a lot of people are sad that uh, they got this and there's a new one that's been announced, but this one I love. I love the darker gun metal. Um, I, you know, some people just don't like chrome. I do. But I'm glad I got this because sometimes that dark gunmetal looks cool. Way. Yep. Yeah, and probably the only Grogu you'll you'll see. Yeah, when we see I forgot the Lex. name of the bucket. What's the name of the bucket? Uh, the ice cream maker. Yeah, the ice cream maker. <laughs> no, I, just, I know it's got a name. I don't Kong, know. Kan Tong something Tong Kan Tong Kung Tong. Uh. Something like that. I call it the ice cream maker. Um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I know why. Yeah, I know why. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I don't, I don't remember the name. It's mm -hmm. cool though. And yeah, and then, you know, you mentioned the uh, diorama mm -hmm. base. That's pretty awesome looking. Yeah, yeah. I don't have too many of the bigger ones for myself, but I like this one, so I kept that one. And little Grogu hiding there, of course. Yeah. And uh, these are great figures. I had I had no intention of getting IG eleven, but uh, then I saw the paint applications when I saw in hand pictures, and I was like, wow, this is this, they really went all out. Some great like rust effects. And some um, of the best scenes in yep. Mando season two, in my opinion, were with. with him. I agree. I action agree. wise, I mean, action was just fantastic. Yeah, and and his design, his robot design. I know a lot of people love it. I was never a big fan because it looked too stiff. But then I, I again, I saw in hand pictures of the figure, and the paint applications were so good. And then I saw some of the posing. It was like, wow, you can really pose this guy in different poses. So, and then I went ahead and got him, and I'm glad I did. Yeah. And heavy Mando, of course, heavy Mando. It's freaking great. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, them. I know. I've them. seen this figure at uh, Toy Sapiens here and fantastic. Don't have them yet, but very tempted still. Yeah. These two pieces have been very tempted. Big beefy oh, guy. Yeah. This guy might have to make room. 
is more of those X-Wing miniatures. Um, these yeah. are great for the scale. These are tiny, as you can see, but the, mm -hmm. the amount of paintwork that went into these, like, it's great just to have them on display. Um, and it was a really fun game. Uh, if you can find someone that has figures, too. They look very well detailed. Yeah, sure. they are. They are. More of the same. Um, mm -hmm. Except for they have, that's a Bandai X-Wing that I made, I put together, but other than that. Uh, we have some Force, Force Awakens action. Yep. Uh, the only Luke I have in my collection right now. Um, Ray, I do like this Ray a lot. This um, The face sculpt. I know it's not as accurate as the latest one, but I think mm -hmm. it was a great sculpt um, and a great figure overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I almost I almost picked up that set. It was going, you know, I, I, when I noticed it was going down in price quite a bit. Yep. Uh, I almost did. Never, never did. I did have a BB-8, a loose, you know, because later they released just a BB-8 for mm -hmm. uh, um, Last Episode Jedi. Eight. Yeah, Last yeah. Jedi versions of uh, BB-8. And uh, what's the black one's name? I forgot the number and model. I, I don't know if it's BB-9. I don't think so. Yeah, um, no. no but I know right. what you're talking about. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. And they had a double pack of those too, but I just yep. got the single BB-8. Which head came with more accessories, a little better. The orange was a little more accurate, but that's yeah. that's cool too. The, that BB-8, I know. I don't, you know, that I I, I don't. I definitely don't want to bash uh, that BB-8 because I know it looks good too. I've seen him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. As a set, it was just kind of cool. And mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. uh, my favorite trooper design is definitely the shore trooper. Um, so I'm glad I was able to get this one last mm -hmm. year for retail from Sideshow. <laughs> oh, um, is that right? Yeah, it, it was one of those back what they call back from the dead, where like they have like two or three that they find in stock, and you I was know, just, these right time. Fan, all these fancy names. Yeah, right time, I, right I, place. I need to get fancy like that on my channel. All these fancy names. Yeah, they, that's. I think that's what they call it. Where like they all of a sudden they have a warehouse. It's just like a fancy name for warehouse finds, right? And then sure. they put two or three up, and I was I was right place, right time. I I made an order, and I thought it was a a, a site glitch. I even contacted them and said, "Look, I just ordered a short trooper, but clearly it's just a glitch." You know, it's been out of stock for so long, and they're like, "No, you know, it's real. We found a few in the warehouse." So yeah, here we have the <laughs> the custom base. Yeah, yeah. custom base. Uh, I try to make it look like the beach shore because shore mm -hmm. trooper. So that was it. Was fun to make this base. It's quick, simple, gets the point across. Incinerator, mm -hmm. love that one. Uh, great set here. Uh, Return of the Jedi figures. You know, Leia, Wicket, Stormtrooper. Not my favorite. I know it's your favorite. Not my favorite movie, but the I've always loved Star That's Wars. That's okay. Designs. You know, opinions are like, you know, buttholes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. But I, uh, I never is... take offense to other people's opinions. No, I, I, same here. That, same that just, here. Yeah, we're talking again variety. You know, we got to have a variety of opinions. How boring would it be if everybody likes the same thing? Yeah, and that that movie, when it comes to merchandising, I think that's when it really, you know. It, you know, Star Wars has always had merchandising behind it. We all know the history, but that movie was really when it took off when merchandising, I think, really made an effect on the movie itself, mm. you know, with Wicket, you know, and all those. And I just, it, it was historic and it, it has a lot of good designs. So, yeah. Looks cool good. stuff. Some uh, Warhammer prints on there on the left, some Space Wolves action. Same here, more Space Wolves prints. And uh, some sideshow statues. I love that Galactus bust. That's great. Um, that's a prime one. Spider Man, twenty ninety nine. This was the first and probably only collaboration between Prime One and Sideshow. Huh. That that Spider Man twenty ninety nine. Um, I'm assuming that was Prime One that made it and Sideshow that distributed, it, since Prime One doesn't have the Marvel Quarter license in the U S. But I don't hmm. know. Just speculation on my part. But it, mm -hmm. point is, awesome statue. Yeah, looks great. And what's the other one we have here in the? Oops, um, let's go back. Here. The Galactus. Uh, that is a sideshow Galactus legendary scale bust. Um, I picked that up because I saw it at my local comic book store, Tate's, here in uh, Lauder Hill, and it just looks so cool in person. It is really heavy. Uh, it's got to be at least looks cool, and as you mentioned, looks heavy. It look. It's got to be at least. It's heavier than that Spider Man, uh, for sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's it's it, I just love design. It has great presence. Um, it comes with that little silver surfer next to him. I just it's, I think it's cool. I just got this guy, so mm -hmm. it doesn't fit in a D12. So he's on the top. 
Yeah, now let's go back to that guy a minute. I wanted to pause there because uh, that is a cool piece, a, re a recent piece by Hot yep. Toys. That uh, another one that I'm very tempted. But now they hinted that Return of the Jedi one, and you know me, Return of the Jedi. So yeah, yeah, might have to wait. Yeah, see if they put that on order because that Return of the Jedi uh, bike is pretty cool, the brown one. Um, not sure if I'll get it now that I have this. I might. But I've also got some other stuff coming in from Jazz Inc. that I need to make room for. Mm -hmm. So, no, This is uh, definitely really cool. And uh, I know uh, the weathering all, all, all across the weathering. I'm sure you, you're so detail-oriented. Uh, what do you think of the weathering of this guy? The, the printed weathering is amazing. They've come such a long way right to they've been doing printed weathering and little details like that on products toys for mm -hmm. a long time but mm -hmm. recently in the past few years it's gotten so great and both on the bike and on the character's armor pieces amazing it looks like it's hand weathered uh to a certain extent right so it's yeah. really cool stuff from what i've seen and what i'm seeing here definitely so yeah, yeah. really cool and here we came from we came from them they will come from us or for us wow yeah, i can't even us. read <laughs> that was a uh an imax poster they gave out during the midnight release of prometheus back in 2012 so i had this framed um and i really like that movie that's why i had this framed. i don't have a lot of movie posters up what do they mean exactly by we we came from them they will come for us so basically we came from yeah, so the, the whole point the of the aliens. movie was suggesting that these engineer characters were the ones that made human life on Earth. Uh, that right. was was right. was so heavily suggested. So that's what it means. Uh, they hey, came from, and in the may movie, may not be far from reality. Yeah, right. So, and then spoilers, you know, from the movie, you find out that for some reason they had also targeted Earth for termination. Yeah, right. Yeah. At some point. So basically, this this is stating uh, we created you and we will destroy you. Basically. Basically, Basically, right? Yeah. 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 So it was uh, definitely a fun movie. Prometheus, yeah. Um, this was the here. Celtic Predator. So I've got that right above my head right here. Um, that's mm -hmm. from AVP. Again, not a movie I love, but I love a lot of the designs. So that's a one-to-one -one helmet. Um, I modified the eyes a little bit to have that netting kind of look to them. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's cool. One, you know, one-to-one -one scale piece. Pretty cool. Yeah. How did you hang that up there? It comes with the ba the base it oh, comes it with. Yeah, you could either put it. I think you could put it on the table. Yeah, or it it, you, it has holes to nail it to use it as like a wall mount. So that's what Excellent. I did. So that's gonna conclude it. Yeah. That was that was fun, man. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. You know, for being here and for sharing your uh, collection man no thank you thank you for having me uh for listening to me this long hopefully i made it somewhat entertaining oh no, no. So, I, I know i yeah. was entertained hopefully yeah. here the, our viewers will be just as entertained i'm sure i hope so i hope so yeah excellent so as mentioned uh i will link up in the description uh your instagram thank you sir uh, so make sure to follow on instagram desi from metamorphic customs and uh as mentioned, thank you so much, Desi, for joining me here. Had a great time. And um, anything you want to add towards the uh, to the end? Uh, anything you got planned on your Instagram sharing or anything at all? Uh, for right now, I'm just continuing to work on the log of custom dioramas that I have. You know, um, just getting those out to the people that have ordered it. Love working on that stuff. I am really booked at the moment which is great news everything's still on time yeah. so that's even better news uh but loving what i do plan to continue doing it so uh but there's a little bit of wait for people that reach out you know hey there's a little bit of wait now a lot of commissions which is good news for me but means a little bit of a longer way for you guys so um just keeping it that way for now and uh mm -hmm. just having fun and gonna have keep having fun collecting just hey and thanks for having me on again this is this oh, has been no, a lot of fun so yeah my pleasure, man. And yeah. uh, looking forward to doing some live streams with you in the future, too. Same here. Yeah. Glad to be a part of it. Excellent, man. And for you guys, thank you so much for watching. And as I always say, subscribe, like, and comment. Enjoy the path of collecting. And I'll catch you guys next time. What are you looking at? What are you staring at? What do you need? <laughs>